Hi, I'm Dr. Swachla, scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Does frequent ejaculation or frequent intercourse reduce the sperm count and quality? It's a very important uh, topic for discussion. Often patients come asking this question. So, most importantly, you have to understand that it is definitely yes but it's temporary so uh, the sperm count does come down the quality does not the count comes down but for a very short period of time which could be even 24 hours because sperms are generated every day so let's try to understand how sperms are generated in the first place it takes about 64 to 72 days for sperms to be produced and be mature so they are produced so to say manufactured in the testis and from there they are transported uh, through the reproductive tract and this entire process of being produced and matured and hopefully ejaculated or degenerated takes about 72 days. This is a continuous process which means that after 70 days a new batch is not produced. It happens every day. Every day a batch which is produced takes 64 to 72 days. So this is what is happening. Now once they are produced they are stored in a small pouch called epididymis. It's like they are waiting there and then when there is a need for ejaculation they are generated triggered from there so to say if there is no need for ejaculation they degenerate so every time there is a new batch they are stored in the epididymis and this goes on and on as a cycle now what happens if there is frequent ejaculation definitely there will be a lower count but the advantage of frequent ejaculation is that the motility and morphology improves why is that because sperms are produced every day and they are not being stored the old damaged sperms are made to get degenerated and new sperms are again generated so the quality of sperms is improved there is improved uh, motility improved morphology which are very important for sperms to reach the egg and morphology for fertilizing the egg so this is a very important point old sperms are destroyed old sperms also have a high percentage of dna fragmentation index as in the dna inside the head of the sperm is damaged and frequent ejaculation makes sure that old sperms or damaged sperms are not there and only fresh sperms remain with frequent ejaculation. It's important to know that more than 7 days of uh, abstinence can lead to high DNA fragmentation. So it's always better to ejaculate more frequently. 1 to 2 days of abstinence is best when you're trying to get close to uh, your fertile window. Having intercourse every alternate day during ovulation is the best uh, method to get pregnant if you're trying to do so to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you